Oh. Hello. Hello, how are we today? It is Monday. How are we doing? Welcome. It's cold. It is pretty cold. <laughs> I think around here is a... Uh... It's funny because I had my little... My little, I, I used to have the, like, the little bar on Windows that would say like what it is, and I think I actually got rid of that because I was like, I don't need this. Oh, let me see. Apparently it's zero right now. Nope, there it is. It's negative 18 Celsius right now. Let me see if I can... News and interests. Icon only. No, nah, icon and text is good. It's negative eighteen. <coughs> um, negative six here. You're a lot cold. Yeah, no, it's pretty cold here. Hello, hello, your VTuber looks great. Thank you, Egg Cat, and welcome to the stream. Um, well, here's the thing. Now, I grew up in the states, so. But I've become accustomed to, oh, I've become accustomed to uh, Celsius. So let's see what a uh, negative 18 Celsius. Um, equals in to Fahrenheit. So we're looking at 0 0.4 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're at zero Fahrenheit uh, for those um, who use uh, Celsius. Um, it's cold. It's supposed to be cold, um, I think, all the way until Thursday. Um, I'm a little scared <laughs> because I walk to work um, nowadays. Um, <coughs> and I walk it like before the sun rises. So it's going to be really, really freaking cold. Um, so... Uh, I like cold weather too. I don't like having to deal with it, <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, I'll probably glad someone does. I got old bones and joints. That's why I just hurt in the cold. Hi, Titan MP. Um, yeah, so I not super looking forward to walking in that tomorrow, but um, do what you got to do. Um, if I get really sick, which I, I don't think I will. I recently I recently got off like a big sickness. But if I do get sick, then that's going to be my boss's problem. So. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'm still recovering from that cough. It's been a while since I watched your stream. Welcome back. Good to have you here. Yeah, so we started a little bit late today. Um, I did kind of oversleep a little bit and I prepared some coffee. I took some time to kind of like vibe and feel myself out because I'm not sure how long this stream is going to be today. We're on the final chapter of Lie Eat. I could have gone uh, longer last stream and finished all three chapters in one go, but <coughs> some stuff did come up, something that was a little bit more important. I'm not going to get into it, but I had to uh, focus my attention on that. That being said, we will be going into the last chapter of Lie Eat. Um, I don't have it selected here yet because I'm. it has a little launcher. So let me just... Eh. They're loud. <coughs> the games are loud. They're very loud. Um, so let's uh, lower the hell out of this. And then... Okay, oh heck yo, we getting snow down here in the south on hell yeah. Um, it was zero degrees here in Jersey this morning, yeah. Zero is cold. Um, anything lower than that, it's like, oh, that's, hmm. So, um, let me... Let me track light. Is it gonna let me, or is it gonna work? It's kind of weird with this game. Oh wait, uh... There we go. Um, <clears throat> we can make it bigger. There we go, perfect. And then I'm gonna make it even bigger for the stream. Okay, so for those who don't know um, Lie Eat, let me just um, adjust things here. 
because this is, again, a loud game. <coughs> so like before, we've got to, like, uh, figure out the proper volumes for this because, again, loud game. I don't know why they made this game so loud. I think it's just a thing with RPG Maker games that they... And we don't have, like, sound control, like, till the end, which is weird to me. All right, I think we're a little bit better now. Hopefully, let me keep me keep me posted if it's too loud or not loud enough. Um, <clears throat> but for those who might not have been here last week, um, Lie Eat um, is three chapters. They don't seem to be connected in any way. Um, they just seem to have, like, the same um, two protagonists. And um, what it's about generally is a guy who seems to be a detective who likes to change his face and name all the time and a little girl who is actually a dragon. Um, um, as the story progresses, we, we, we learn little things about this world where it seems um, dragons look, well, in, in terms of like races and fantasy stuff here, um, it seems to be pretty modern-ish. Um, everyone kind of looks like people, but there's humanity, where it's your, your bipedal people-looking people, and dragons, which are entities that look like people but can use magic in some way, shape, or form. Um, they seem to be pretty rare. Um, people tend to sell them into slavery, and their eggs usually tend to appear um, just randomly to people. Um, what we learned last chapter was, um, that little bit of world building they give us is that these eggs seem to appear to people who have a wish. Um, <coughs> a little dragon here, her name is Afy. Um, uh, dragons all have an ability, something they like to eat, um, or do, and, uh, wings and horns that they can make appear. This, this one here, um, likes to eat lies. She makes troops and lies manifest and eats the lies. Um, <clears throat> and let me just grab my controller. Again, it's really, really cute. They're pretty short. They've got these cute little animated, um, these cute little animated bits here and there. And um, just, a, just a nice little comfy feel. They're really short. And there's usually some sort of mystery involving <clears throat> some sort of dragon or mythical thing. The first chapter, had to do with vampires. The second one had to do with a little boy who um, <clears throat> was a dream-eating uh, dragon. <clears throat> and now this last chapter is the lie-eating dragon and the gold thief. So I don't know what we're in for, but the other two chapters have been relatively really cute, straight to the point, and um, just, a, just, a, just a fun little ride with these cute characters. So let's make our way. <coughs> I'm going to be coughing a lot. Once upon a time, there was a gallant thief. The thief traveled the world, stealing one dazzling treasure blah, blah, treasure after another. <coughs> ah. Hi, crazy fox. Welcome home from work. The thief's targets were always people who did evil things to amass more wealth. They always stole the treasures they sought without fail, and never did the police catch them in the act. <coughs> The thief would sell the treasures and distribute the money to the poor. In addition, enough. Shut up already. I'm tired of that stupid story. But doesn't he sound great? He could have all the money for himself, but he gives it to others. I don't care. I'll bet some people just see him as a gullible fool who'll give them money for nothing. That's pretty warped. Do you always have to be so contrary? You don't need to lose your temper, Theo. Can you really say that living in a place like this? Where we could die any day, always hearing gunshots, shouting, screaming? There's no point putting your hopes in some storybook. Mm. So what's it today? You know how things are going. There shouldn't be any big conflicts today, I think. Seems they took a pretty big beating yesterday, too. Then time to secure some food. I'll be going out. Alone? Again? Last chapter is a horror shift about murder. <laughs> <coughs> oh, I'm not home. I am at work. Oh, okay. Didn't you get hurt yesterday, Jean? 
And Enos and Cyril could, can't have fully healed either. But brother, you... I'm fine. I'm no fanciful storybook thief, but I can do enough to protect you all. Because we all call the, because we all carry the name Leonhart here. Okay. So this looks like it's starting with a flashback. Now, I mentioned before, just for those who weren't here before, um, the two main characters are the little girl, Afi, who eats lies. And um, the other protagonist is a man who changes his look um, with every place he passes around. He gives him, he essentially gives and sells information um, and seems to be a bit of a detective. Um, he goes by a different name um, when he, when he, passes around, but we learned his name with Theobald Leonhardt. A very nerdy name, apparently. But this looks like this is a flashback. <clears throat> Theo seems really tired because he keeps insisting on doing everything himself. But maybe us slacking off is part of the reason. Hey, this gun doesn't have any bullets left. Huh? Whoa, it doesn't. No spares, right? Now what? Theo already left. Let's go. We're always depending on Theo for everything. But it's more dangerous than just getting food. Enos, you said they'd take a major beating, didn't you? <clears throat> Don't tell me you're gonna take one from there. Well, it's where Theo always goes, and the guards, and the guards are bozos. Hmm. Safety, failure, danger. Enos, what's that thing you're doing? Oh, I'm predicting the future. I'm the guy who can't look back at the past. Well, I do think it'll be easier to steal one than usual. But we're talking about the gang. If we get caught, it'll seriously be bad news. Theo always does it himself. Hope us three can manage. Let's try not to get separated. Yeah. All right, let's get going. Right, left, right. You having that much fun back there? Yeah, braiding is fun. Um, right, left, right. Hey, that was two rights in a row. You're not making a mess out of it, are you? Uh, can I start over? We're almost there. Hurry up. <clears throat> What's this town we're going to now? I got a call from Ro... Rosa? Uh, Feathers. Said there was this rich people party, but she didn't want to go and asked me to. <clears throat> but parties are fun. Does she not like them? She mentioned some kind of treasure thing, so the focus must be on that. <clears throat> Still, we can have <coughs> oh, excuse me. Still, we can have some tasty food for free. All we can eat, then beat it. Mm, so Leo. <sighs> there it is again. No Leo. Oh, Hal? Ricky? Claude. And you get mad whenever I call you Papa. Kinda wanna stick to one. If you want a single name, I'll let you call me it when we're alone, not in a town. <coughs> if you promise that, you can call me Theo. Isn't that your real name? Theo... Tia Pants? Can I? Tia Pants? Yeah, sure. Just keep that promise. Got it. And I'll never lie. I promise, Theo. Alright. Now we need to think of a name to use in the next town. <laughs> I gotta go, but it was nice to meet you all. Yeah, have a wonderful day. Thank you. <clears throat> what? Is there still a different name after all? The other name is only for when it's just us two. Mix it up, and the deal's off. Why do you always need to change your name, Theo? Let's say I told a lie. What would the person who, li who I lied to think? Uh, they'd feel bad. Right. My face, name, and all this other stuff would stick with them, and they'd hate it. Just seeing that face, just hearing that name, would make them feel bad. If those bad feelings get big enough, they could bring harm to other, to yourself or others. That's why I change my appearance and name at each town. So they won't feel bad. How kind of me, huh? Um, couldn't you just not be telling lies in the first place? What? You're thinking that much about it already? <sighs> it's such a pain. Effie, think of a good name for me. Huh? Oh, uh... The one on that sign. Sydney? I like that one. Maybe a little hard for you. Let's go with Sid. That's who I am in the next town. Okay. Um, Sid. This is a little girl. This is like a four-year-old. <coughs> Alrighty. Okay. So what do we know? Something something treasure party. Master of the place is Wilbur. 
It smells really nice. Wonder if it started already. Let's check the Grand Hall. Alrighty, so now we're called Sid. This music is still too loud. I have, like, I've, <laughs> I've lowered it so much. Alright. Are we already at level- oh, okay, level 3 and level 1. Now, this game has something called the Legendary Weapons which just make it so that um, you can progress a little bit easier through the story. Um, there are some RPG elements. Up, up, up. Um, I'm not quite sure where this one would be this time around. So just one moment. <clears throat> Alrighty. Okay, we're not gonna worry about it right now because we can't find it right now. Just trying to see. Okay, that's the menu. Oh. Oh, that's just twinkling. Okay. All right, there we go. Just let's look around because usually things you can interact with usually have something going on. Turtle Marlo, hello, welcome, welcome to the stream, huh? It just has to be, I mean, just a while ago. You're worrying about, you're worrying me, guests. <clears throat> ah, don't go that way either. You're worrying me, guests. Some silly glasses, try these on, Afi. Okay. They're on! Why are you looking away? Oh, uh, they suit you. I'm glad. Really? Okay, you two, Sid. I'm fine, thanks. Why not? They could only <coughs> ever suit you, Afy. I see. All right, so can I take these? Yeah, sure. Got funny glasses. This way is off limits. You can't go up here. Okay, so we can't go up there yet, so we only can go. <coughs> Keep me company through lunch. Hell yeah. All right, let's see what's going on here. Pretty expensive stuff, isn't it? It smells good. Delicious. Expensive looking alcohol. Munch, munch. I feel as if that man's most lively when he's boasting. I wonder if this is a good viewing spot. I wonder where they got that. Smells good. I wonder if the thief truly is going to show. I wonder how much the Ulrich Antique would sell for. That's a ton of guards. It smells good. Munch munch. Alrighty. I'm guessing we can just sit at any table, but I guess we also have to move up. Wahaha. Ha, ha. Good evening. Oh, your face is unfamiliar to me. And then you must be the one whom Lady Rosalie invited. Indeed, it's an honor. It's an honor to meet you, Master Wilbur. Oh, I would be wonderfully pleased merely to hear that you enjoyed the party. Incidentally, if you can spare the time, I'd like to make a small request. Yes, go ahead. There's a man helping me with the party, an inventor by the name of Enos. He told me he wasn't feeling well and went out some time ago, but is yet to return. Would you go look for him, if you could? Anos. Yeah, just leave it to me. Thank you dearly. Alrighty. Something here? Karl Marx reference. 
<laughs> All right, we gotta find someone named Enos. That name rings a bell. Way is off limits. Where did he say to go? Ugh, I just can't handle being with so many strangers. Uh, uh, are you Mr. Enos? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Y you heard that, huh? N nervous, deep breaths, presence of mind, breathe. Uh, is there something on my face? No, no, sorry. You just looked very pale. Are you okay? Uh, I'll be fine. I don't suppose Mr. Wilbur sent you. He did. He was worried with how long you were gone. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to trouble him. Can't wait for someone to die at this party and become Clue. Yeah, seriously. The Phantom Thief is coming too, so I hope nothing bad happens. Phantom Thief? Yes, we received a... a warning. Something like, tonight at 10, I'm going to steal the Ulrich Antique. Would this happen to be the butterfly, that thief in the news? Yes, that's right. I didn't think they really existed. I designed the security system for this mansion, so it's another thing to worry about. Uh... You okay, mister? <coughs> Maybe. Well, I'll be getting back to Master Wilbur now. A Fanta thief, huh? Is it almost ten? I wonder what they're like. Sid? Hmm. Hmm? Yeah, I'm fine. We should go too. You look sort of pale. Just like when you ate that grass three days ago. Don't remind me. Alrighty. Leaving is never really an option. It, everything takes place in the one area. And lots of doors here that we can't pass. Let's go back to that main foyer or ballroom. <coughs> ah, it's you. You're a great help for bringing him. <coughs> now, we was m now we must wait for the thief. I worked hard to obtain this treasure. I shall not hand it over so easily. Pant, pant. Oh, thanks for earlier. Quite a lot of guards, huh? Yes, well, machines have their limits. It's much safer to have people on watch as well. So you said the thief will show up at 10? Uh, yes, that's right. I have the warning here. The mark in the corner is the butterflies, all right? Are you sure this is... Oh, wait. The mark in the corner is the butterflies, all right? Are you sure this is real? It would be sort... It would be a sort of relief if it were all just a prank, wouldn't it? So, what's a Fanta thief? Haven't you heard about them in the newspapers and on TV? Phantom Thief strikes again, that sort of thing. We did see uh, last game, if you like interact with like the, the, the bookshelves, you see a magazine called Phantom Thief Strikes Again. They send a warning to their target a day in advance, then steal an item. And the warning always has the butterfly mark on it. That's why they're known as the Phantom Thief Butterfly. Any corrections? No, that's right. They say the thief wears a butterfly mask as well. Just like the stylish thieves you see on TV and in stories, huh? It really is. Even the police are at a loss. But maybe it's to be expected. Their primary line of work seems to be fighting. Perhaps they're simply unaccustomed to dealing with slippery phantom thief types. Huh, that's amazing. <sighs> Ooh, excuse me. I'm drinking coffee to wake myself up. <laughs> Sid, what if you were a phantom thief too? Ha, huh, a phantom thief... Uh, a phantom thief is still just a petty burglar, a heinous criminal. I would never. Huh? But Sid... Hey, Afy, You've got some bits of pastry on your mouth. How clumsy of you. Well, on the other hand, it seems the thief goes after corrupt politicians, but their acts are still those of a burglar. Hmm. Oh, that's right. We're also asking for help of the police force. Hmm. But don't they do guard... But they don't do guard jobs, do they? Well, yes, but ooh, recently a new 
We do now. Uh, there we are. Perhaps she could tell you. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> How am I going to do this one? This one seems... Uh-huh. Or just don't cough. Ahem. Sorry to keep you waiting. Iris Ashbury, Captain of the Police's Special Investigative Division, at your service. Phew. Didn't stumble over a single word. Investigative Division? Yes. Incidents have been increasing in number and growing more diverse as of late. So, Willow Wanderer is now playing Twilight Town. <coughs> While the unit headed by Captain Neil will focus on doing battle with dangerous criminals, the new investigative unit will focus on investigative matters. So Mr. Captain and Vice Captain aren't here? That's right. But if a murder or something devastating happens, they certainly could be soon. P please don't joke. That's not funny at all. Does this mean she's a dragon? If she's from the police force? Because the police the police force is run by two dragons. <coughs> but that aside, I haven't seen any of the other members of your unit. Oh, yes. Uh, well, humans can't fly, can they? Yes, it's impossible without some kind of assistance. Thus, walking humans are slower than flying dragons, surely. Your point being? They were going to be late, so I went ahead by myself! What? Uh, uh... I mean, I suppose I also shouldn't have gotten the wrong directions in the first place, but... It's alright. I can catch a thief all by myself if I have to. Y yes I'm sure. <laughs> Why me? Alrighty. <coughs> if she's in the police force, <coughs> they also... We learned, I think, last game and the game before, that Space Pegasus 651 is now playing Football Manager 2022. Um, we learned, um, ba 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 ba. We learned, uh, I think it was last game or the game before, but both games reiterated that the police force takes in dragons and takes care of them and saves them. So she is most likely a dragon. If not exactly. What a lively girl. Even if it's to an extent that worries me. So what shall we do once we have the thief? Perhaps ask where the other treasures they stole are. Miss Iris, right? It's yes. me. <gasps> it's Anthony. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? You didn't miss much. <laughs> we cool. there, there, There's talk of a phantom thief. We had a little flashback that might have been um, like our detective boy when he was a... Uh, a kid um and then it's like okay what's going on here there's the, a thief said they're gonna steal a treasure from here at 10 o'clock and then this chick just came in and it she's from the police force so she's most likely a dragon hey. yeah yes i'm iris ashbury i'm athena and this is uh sid you're a dragon too right what ability do you have oh i piqued your interest be amazed. I am a dragon who can use her ability to know anything about what I see. Which means? I'll give you a demonstration. Hold on a moment. <laughs> oh, that face. Like a cat scaring off prey. Hey! That's rude! Okay, analysis complete. The lady there. Your name is Athena, 98 centimeters tall, and you are a dragon whose ability allows her to subsist on eating lies. Whoa, you got it all right! And that rude one beside her, your name is Theobald Leonhardt, 170, 170 centimeters tall. Uh-huh. That's a completely different name and attitude from what you just told me. You can even tell that. There's no end to your pests. There's no end to you pests in the force, is there? I'm kind of surprised, too, considering what a kid you are. How did a puny brat like you become captain of a unit? Don't you make fun of me. I've been alive a whole nine years. A whole nine years. That's under half my age. Five, six, seven, eight. That's about nine of me. 
Theobald, a con artist who travels to many towns, changing his face and name every time. And three days ago, you ate Nemo grass. Grass? Just mistook it for some edible grass. It looked similar. But why? Why? You have money, yes? To be exact, six. Hey, quit it. Huh? So you do have money. You told me I couldn't get crepes because you didn't. Damn it. Hey, bird brain, stop running your mouth about sensitive info. Bird brain? Me? You really have no manners, just like Vice Captain Brett said. Ugh, just go away, please. What's he saying about me? Right, um, he's a crook, arrogant, and a pedo, that kind of thing. Pedo? Not a fan of me, is he? I myself doubted such a horrible person could exist, but now I have seen him and I have seen it's all true. Ugh, I can't stand it, just go away already. The game suddenly has voice acting. <laughs> no, uh, this is just how I have fun with these. <laughs> An analyzing dragon. They really come in all kinds, don't they? Does she, does she eat information? We don't know. We, we, she just came in. Oh, it's almost 10. Guess I'll ask about that Uric antique to pass the time. I wonder if Auric antiques taste good. I don't think it's food. What? Huh? Did she really think that? <laughs> I would hate having her ability, no secrets. Yeah. Alrighty, so we got achievement, amazing first impression. Just means that we're moving forward with the game. You wanna like know how I know Effina is a very healthy person? Yeah. She has a lot of fibber in her diet. <laughs> yeah, a lot of fibber? <laughs> <laughs> she gets a lot of fibbers in her I love that. <laughs> I love that you're embracing puns. <laughs> Embrace the puns and their power. <laughs> she has a diet high in fibber. <laughs> All right. This guy looks has the same name as someone from Theo's flashback, so they might be related. The Yorick Antique. I was brought here mainly to work on the security system. You should ask Mr. W Master Wilbur, but he may go on a little. Ugh. Wahaha! Oh, is something the matter? No, I just wanted to uh, get a good look at this Uric antique. Oh, ho, ho. is that right? Then allow me to tell you about it. Oh, it's so cold and shiny! <laughs> it is, isn't it? It was created quite some time ago, but it hardly feels like it's aged a day. Many legends are told here in Gold Town, with its countless centuries of history. Wonder how much money this would fetch. How many donuts could you buy? Probably more than you could probably eat in a single day. I could probably make way more being a treasure hunter. Are you changing jobs? No, I didn't say I would. Better to do what I enjoy. And here comes the climax. Without further ado, allow me to. Is that the bell? Ah, so it's 10 o'clock. But as of yet, nothing has. Oh, lights, what's going on? Huh, why is everyone stumbling? Oh, right, it's, a pit it's pitch black for humans. Ow, hey, I know it was. <laughs> okay. Ow, hey, I know that was UFE. Don't hit my butt. I know you're there. I just saw a figure. Is that them? Oh, the treasure. Oh, oh, it's safe. So it is. Then was it just a sudden light failure? I did do a thorough inspection of them, though. Is it the wiring? Hmm. Outage, wiring, inspection. Sid? Effie, did you smell a lie? Yeah, but it might be because of all the people here. And since it's small, I can't get it to take form. Enos, that man on the right, he muttered, outage, wiring, inspection. But he never speaks when he's looking back on the past. He only mutters like that when he's trying to predict what will happen or what to do. How do you know that? I used to know him. A little. That's all. But if a lie won't take, but if a lie won't take form, does it mean he doesn't feel guilt about lying? Or maybe he simply changed as time has passed. Let's ask him. Hmm. Are you okay? You still don't look well. Uh, <laughs> sorry, but I found nothing wrong upon inspection. So why... 
outage, wiring, inspection. What did you do after your inspection? Um, once I'd done a regular check on the security system, I came right here. And you stayed here? No, I felt dizzy with all the people, so I left for a bit to look out the window. As you should know. Sid? That was the first time you and I met, wasn't it? Excuse me? Well, yes, was it not? Are you sure? Mm. Do you hate me? Uh. I should have no resentment towards anyone I just met, yes? Ha uh ha, -huh. baited. <laughs> Effie? Yeah. Alrighty, let's do a quick save -a Get your baited, bitch. I saw a figure and tried to catch them, but I was covered with some kind of cloth. Then I sat suddenly pushed. But the number of people in the room is the same. And the treasures haven't been stolen either. What does it mean? The treasure wasn't stolen. Does that mean the warning was a fake? Ah, that's almost disappointing. I don't hate you. Oh, it's gotta, panicking. Gotta kill the little lies. I love that they use the, the slap sound for the fucking damage in this game. It's something like you're just slapping the shit out of it. <laughs> slap, mm. no. Hmm. What? Uh, it just tastes a little different from usual. I wonder why. Does it now? Alright, dickhead. Are you familiar with dragons? Yes, of course. They look similar to humans and have abilities like some kind of magic. Right. This girl's a dragon whose ability can give lies form, so she can eat them. Essentially, we know you lied to us. That's really something. I've heard about it, but it's much easier to grasp seeing it for yourself. But that's good. But it's roughly as I thought. If things were a little off, I would have had to just make... I would have had to make some further adjustments. Who are you? You're not Enos. Huh? Pardon my rudeness. It's about time I introduce myself. Huh? Alrighty. <laughs> His casino mask. It's a butterfly, yeah. He has a fucking, he has that hair thing that every idiot has. No, <laughs> the little idiot hair. <laughs> it's literally called an idiot hair. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> Now, if only you had the ultimate weapon to sandal a sandal to deal with these lies. Mm. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Nice to meet you, if this is our first meeting. I have no name to go by, but I'm often called the Butterfly, so you may call me that. It's you! Where's the real Mr. Enos? Oh, you need not worry. He is alive. Somewhere. But let's not drag this out. No one wants that, do they? Yes, let's end this at once. Ah, what's that sound? I'll see you later, brother. Oh. Oh. Ah, a treasure! Hmm? How, how can this be? My, my Ulrich. Everyone, please calm down. No one is to leave this room until we've confirmed it's safe. Oh, my head hurts. Are you okay, Effie? This black mud stuff, is it? Yeah, I think it's lies, but not in a solid form. I can't eat it like that. People have been taken over by formless lies before, but for all of it to be mud. So, so that girl, she made that monster appear? And this muddy stuff? That's right. It's her ability. But it's never gone like this before. I'll analyze this. Do you think we can get out of here? If it blocks the entrance, we might not. Can you check for me? I need to keep an eye on the people here. Right. Let's go, Effie. Okay. Alright, let's do a save -a again. Oh, they're all covered in it. Oh. It's, a, it's a mess. I 
her physical attacks seem almost totally ineffective, but yeah. All right, she's gonna keep everyone in here, so I guess we have to move around now. Holy crap, Oh, yes. wow. Place is covered. It's a house of lies. I know where the legendary weapons are because I checked, but I also want to look around in case I find anything else. Alrighty, so that's where so we were. sparkly shit in the void. <laughs> oh yeah, no, there's there's sparkly shit, like little sparkly details on everything. On certain things. You were singing the black void, though. Yeah, like, no, it's weird that it's there, but like, there were some pillars that were sparkling earlier. I can't reach oh. it. Wrong way. Oh, wait. Do I have to, like, leave, leave, or...? The door's covered with the stuff. Think you get it off? Nah, no way. When it's all sticky, I can't eat it. The windows are all mudded up, too. Let's go back and tell her. Okay, so we can't leave. Are those people dead? No, they're not dead. Um, the guards aren't dead either. They're just going, ugh, ugh. So they're, they're not dead. And the people here, are the little sprites are moving, so they're not dead. The other members of the unit have arrived outside, but there's no way to get in. Hmm. We didn't see anywhere to get out from uh, from inside either. No way. I'll keep analyzing, but... Mr. Wilbur, are there any passages outside? Uh, yes, yes, that's right. The rooftop is open for the night. Oh, why? The rooftop. Roger that. I hate to ask this of you, but could you head for the rooftop? I'm the only member of the unit who can watch this area. Since this is an emergency, I'll try to call Captain Neil t Captain Neil too. Do those monster things attack people? The small ones never have before, so it should be fine if any show up. But usually the monsters are hardly affected by any attacks but our own. Be careful. I'll keep analyzing. If I find any possible exits, I'll come tell you. We're counting on you. Don't get so despondent. You're about the only one these people can count on. Uh, right. Alrighty. Let's do another save -a So now we gotta go upstairs where a bunch of maids were telling us we couldn't go. Huh? What? Those stairs we just went up got all slugged over any already. Doesn't look like we can go back now. Oh, the rooftop it is. Oh. There's no way back. Oh, shit. Oh, hey. That means I can check these rooms, though. No, those four look fine. Probably. Yeah, they're like maids. I told you. Excuse me. But, what the heck? <laughs> Is that their fucking bit? I don't know. They, they they were literally just not letting me in. A memo pad. Glop. It, it's a, it just says gloop. Gloop. Like how malformed it is. It's like you. They're all, they're super gooey. It's all muddled. I can't eat this. Oh, wow. That's just a pro That's just a problem. Yeah. So there's something up with these lies that they can't fully take form. I think they mentioned it was like if someone doesn't truly feel bad about lying, the lies are like this. Oh, that's oh, that was fucking scary for a second there. Oh shit. What what's wrong with the moon? Gross. It's an eye. Yep. Is it an eye? Uh, oh. Why? Look like that. Look at the hole, and then look at like yeah. see no, the eye. No, I mean, eye? why was this room always like this? I could never go into these rooms before. Why do you just have an eye hole room? I don't freaking know, man. Rich people are weird. I... Gross. Yep. That's fun. It's that's kind, like some, it's, it's that's kind, some it's some kind of cool, shit. though. I don't like it. It's kind of cool. It's a cool effect, and it's like, Eve, get that shit out of here. <laughs> you trying to find the legendaries? I'm trying to find, yeah, anything. Anything that's better than what I have now. Oh, cool. I can rest here. <laughs> Will you take a so, quick it's, nap? It's, it's also good to find the rest zone. Yeah. Serrated knife and small donut. So we already got some weapons. 
let's equip what we found. So, serrated knife. And the liar. Oh, well, this is better. Funny glasses. Colorful oh, it's a, it's the stupid little glasses and black mustache. Yeah, yeah. We found we found them earlier on the table, and we just took it. That's what your fucking your VTuber model has, doesn't it? The stupid little glasses hmm. and mustache. I mean, I don't have that. I don't remember. That was when you did a uh, thing with oh, Phantom. Oh, oh, like the, um. Well, VTube like Studio has there. yeah. VTube Studio has like accessories you can put on your model. Yeah. 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 That's what I was talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Funny glasses. Okay. Funny glasses is just a fucking strong weapon. What the fuck? Yeah, no. I was not expecting that. A table. Okay. They actually might be in... Legendary knife and legendary cookie. There we go. Found them. Okay, so serrated knife. Legendary knife. Legendary cookie. So delicious you don't even want to fight. This shit's cool. Cuts all in twain. I like how he always has the super knife and she always has some different kind of fucking Food. snack. Big, big liar. This room is just full of weapons. What the fuck? Strawberry what? A trash can? What did I find? I just... Oh, I found strawberry caramel. Okay. Ooh, kind of. Yeah, big liar. Don't know. Ah, oh, okay. So weapon. Wait, what? Weapon and weapon too. That's interesting. Why right. can't you equip the, both the weapons? I don't know, but I can I can equip it with her. Why um, can't? You? Yeah, I I don't know. Usually you could do knife, and then liar, but you can't in this case. Can only do one of them. That's fine. Oh, um, you think that's something to do with the story right now? I don't know. I, 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 if um, it's always been a thing I've never noticed. No, it's. I don't remember the last couple chapters. Like you could slap both on, be like, let's go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's mudded up. Glop. Mm -hmm. I think you can just keep fighting these too. all muddy she can't eat it cool. oh there's one in the fucking rest zone fuck you i mean it's fine we can still rest here though yeah i know that's just fuck shit fuck <laughs> you. yeah they're usually not hostile though unless i actually try to talk to them though so let's yeah. keep going i don't think i can proceed it's all sticky and goopy but i think these lies are coming from a person maybe if we eat the source lie we'll be able to go up Hmm, so let's look for that source. Oh, well, let's... Again, let's explore the rooms. It seemed, they seem to pop up. Okay, this is just a trash room, I'm guessing. Uh, blob. Too muddy. That's the rest. Glop. Nope, that's not it. But it's made of lies. I can smell it. When you think eating, when you think eating this could open up the way to the stairs. Even this one isn't fully formed, but I do think it's someone's lie. I think we need to bring out something that will solidify it from the person who lied. Plus, this lie isn't cute at all. Well, I can sympathize with you this time. It's a lie. Get it? Yeah. Gloop. Oh, 
something in here. Choco cream puffs. Cream puffs. Trash can. Well, there was that the other thing you could interact with was like a memo pad and whatever was on the wall. Yeah, memo pad. There's nothing on it though. Crumpled mm. paper. Crumpled Goop. I like how it can't speak. It just goops they at just you. Goop. Yeah, that's probably how she knows that they're not fully formed lies because they'll usually repeat what the lie is. Although she doesn't know in entirety that it's a lie until she actually eats it. And when it's gross, it's like, no, this was actually a truth. Alrighty, so they're, these are the only people here. Oh. Like I said. Oh, like I said. Isn't it you? You are flirting with the master in secret. Huh? On what basis is that? Surely she's guilty of that. I heard it. What are you saying? Don't falsely accuse me. Uh, um, let's not fight, okay? What's this now? You're sounding the most suspicious, don't you think? That's right, you prissy goody two shoes. What? What a terrible thing to say. Prissy? And what's wrong with having both shoes? Um, excuse me. What? For your information, I do have legs, you know. That's right. I felt my ears were ringing terribly, and then all this happened. Now, as much as I want to scratch your face off, I can't, and I'm so annoyed. Uh, hi. Could you yes. tell me anything about what happened? Uh, um. There's a rumor that one of the maids is a bit more friendly with the master. Uh, Master Wilbur. Than is necessary. We got an argument over who it was, but we can't tell. You're certain about this overly friendly maid? Y yes. The rumor seems to spread even among the other servants, but it seems no one knows for sure who it is. But it has to be you, yes? Oh, but it has to be you, yes? N no way, I find it very suspicious how you keep saying that. That's true, you're always being so standoffish. No doubt you're up to this or that. What did you say? What do we do? If that maid is one of them, then one of them is lying. That must mean that eyeball lies from one of those ma one of these maids. If we can get guilt or regret, something like that, then maybe it'll take a definite form. Oh god. Let's go one by one, hearing what these four have to say. So it was yeah. a fucking puzzle like this in Borderlands too. Yeah, so the well, there, there's always a lie where it's like everyone's saying something and you have to dis discern it, and sometimes it's just trial and error. But um from um <clears throat> but from what we've learned today so far, we didn't get we didn't get something like this from the previous two, where if someone doesn't show any sort of remorse or regret for telling the lie, it doesn't take proper form. And then Afi can't eat it. I'm guessing the logic behind this is that to them it's true or it might as well be true. I have no idea. But let's see. Yeah, each one of them. <clears throat> it's yeah. What are you gonna say? Is they are all uh, like they they seem pretty convinced that this is like this is a true rumor yeah. at the very least. Haha, <laughs> I'd been thinking about, I've been thinking there was something suspicious about this, but it's undeniable that it's one of these girls because we are the only ones who wear this kind of maid uniform, and everyone says they saw a girl wearing this uniform. Calm down. Do you know what they were doing together? <laughs> I don't know. I just heard that someone saw them. One of these four. I'll make a note of that. So awful. I didn't... You didn't have to speak that harshly, did you? Hey, now, don't cry. Tell us what you know. Okay. Um, I did see someone with the master once. She handed something to him. I think that's what she was doing. I think it was square and white. I was watching in secret, so I don't really know what it was. No, that's plenty helpful. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're a good person, mister. Want to, um, talk later? No, that's quite all right. Uh, ah! Ow! What was that for, Afy? Nothing. Okay, no snack. Ah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Something square and white. I'll note that. Okay, so the clues we have, it was one of the one of these girls, because only these four maids have this specific uniform, and she handed something square and white to him. Whispered a memo. Yeah. Why can't she just admit it was her already? Once we find out for sure, I'll slap her square on the cheek. I'm getting more than into is, is getting more than intimate with the master that necessary that necessary the necessary is that punishable a thing I can't read. Why yes, the master is like a personal bank account if you're nice to him. Ahem, given this, more and more people tried to use him to buy them expensive things. 
Thus, a few rules were established for the people employed here. Namely, we aren't to get too close to the master, nor make any requests of him. I see. But if those rules are being broken, then... That's right. One of them is secretly getting glittering jewels and other expensive things. And I can't stand it! Give me some jewels, too! Thank you for your help. They made rules. Hmm. Once the culprit is found, I'll tie her up, scratch her, kick her, and have her hanged! Have you seen your master and this maid together? No, I've only heard about it. Uh, but someone did tell me that she was a long-haired woman. Long-haired woman. Are there maids who... Are there maids who are guys? I don't think that's relevant at the moment. Long hair, huh? I want to know what this face is. Is he like... Like... Oh. Ju like no, because I'm like, I'm looking at the token and sometimes it's this, and I'm just like, what is going on in this token? What is coming out of like his mouth? He looks like, like furrowing his brows in thought. No, but I'm looking at his mouth. Like, oh. Is he chewing gum or something? I don't fucking know. Afy. Yeah, I know. That's definitely a lie. But it's still too muddled. Normally people have a guilt that makes them appear as monsters. Yeah, that's right. There's always been evidence. Well, proof that it was a lie. So we hear someone else's claim and confirm it with a liar. That's all it takes. You can make it take form if you know it's a lie, right? Oh, yeah. Even if a liar admits their lie, it still becomes a monster. Good. Then let's look around this floor. If we find proof that someone's telling a lie, we'll show it to them. I hate this kind of thing. Which the fact I can see through the lies would be enough. How do you already know that they're lies, Sid? The people best at seeing through lies are usually the best at telling them. Well, whatever. Let's move. They're about, there are other things I'm curious about. Alrighty. We have, like, the little memos here. Only four wear these maid uniforms. Someone with the master in this uniform. The maid met with the master and gave him something white and square. Similar things have happened, so the servants have rules to limit involvement with the master. The one talking with the master was a woman with long hair. Well, all three of those women have long hair, except for the short-haired one. So of course she's going to say something that kind of rules her out. Something small and square. Memo pad. Crumpled paper. What's this? Hmm, it smells weird and it's powdery. A medicine bag? Empty. Guess it was already used. It's square and white. One of the maids said that. Let's show her this. Medicine bag. Oh. They threw you off with a memo pad and such a bag of medicine. Yeah. What medicine comes in a fucking small white bag? Uh, white and powdery. I mean, cocaine. <laughs> I, I mean, don't know. Like it. They said it. We found a small bag and it's powdery, white and powdery. Hmm. I don't know. Could be drugs. It's undeniable that's one of these girls because they were, yeah. Square and white, watching in secret, show an item. Medicine bag, used. Ah, oh, that must be it. I see, it was a medicine bag. The master hasn't been feeling particularly well lately, so he's, um, been having medicine. And, uh, he has it before bed, almost every day, I think. Who gives him the medicine? Um, the master specified he didn't want us to know who. Specified the other maids can't know. Why? I'll keep looking for things to show the maids. I think you show someone else the bag. Yeah. <laughs> what about it? Must not be the right item. Yes. Must not be the right item. Yeah, so we show the maid who talks about the white bag. Yeah, so maybe we need to find other things. She mentions the medicine bag, so we need to sh so we show her the medicine bag. Trash can. Something's on this crumpled piece of paper. Thank you again. I put in there. I put it there as usual. This is some messy writing. Maybe that's why it was crumpled and tossed. Seems like the master was communicating with someone. Now, if we had the other person's message, that would be nice. 
Okay, where it was this again? Thank you again. I put it there as usual. Hmm. Put it there. Uh, master's the master room. Bedroom. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Okay, they're in there. So there's nothing in here. Yes. <laughs> Alrighty. So here we have this room. Put it there. Is this the master's bedroom? I don't know. It could be. Let's check this trash can. Nothing. Oh, I wonder if the key was dropped somewhere. Locked. Yeah, it might not be too far from here. Oh. Yeah, there's a cabinet. I see something shiny. Okay, go get it. Woo. Here. It's a key. Got key. Whoa, lots of maid outfits. Hey, check the pockets. You start from the right. Okay. Hmm, found something. Whoa, oh. look at it! Sparkly and big! It seems to be the only one. Well, let's take this uniform. Can I wear it? No. Oh. You can take a different one. Okay. Let's <laughs> show it to that maid. Okay, got maid uniforms. Okay, so there's one that talks about the uniforms, which is the first maid. A fucking, just a singular wardrobe full of maid outfits. This is a maid's room. Yeah, so this is probably the maid's room. Hmm. And this is the one that talks about it. It's undeniable it's one of these girls. Only maids who wear this uniform. And everyone says they saw a girl wearing this uniform. There's a big gem in the pockets. What about that uniform? Whoa, what's this huge gem? Do you know who would have worn this uniform? Only two of us wear this size. The maid with the bob cut and the maid with the ponytail. The goody two shoes and I are one size smaller than that. Anything else you know? One of the servants said they took some photos, but the next day they suddenly stopped coming to work and no one's found the photos. Thank you very much. That narrows things down. If only we had the notes they were communicating with. I don't feel like this is going to end well. The bob cut, so. So it's either the bob cut or the ponytail. This is the one that's like, I want jewels. So let me see what happens if I show her this. Um, must not be the right item. So it's so it narrows it down to these two because they wear this size uniform. Now this one's mm -hmm. like, I want jewels too. I wear my jewels. So that makes me think it's the one with the bob cut. But it's also the one that it could be the thing of they're acting like they really want to get in on it while they're already in on it. Maybe. Maybe. Very much so. That's the problem with lying, isn't it? Yeah. But okay, so we need to find but the other notes. Notes are fo well. There's lots of crumpled papers here, huh? Yeah, there's lots of trash cans too. Trash can. Uh oh. It's muddied up. Oh. Maybe there's one in this room. Okay, let's check some of the previous rooms again. Okay, messy writing, crumpled and tossed. Seems like the mask was communicating with someone. Now if we had the other person's message, it would be nice. Behind the trash can. Trash can? Should we check all the trash cans? Trash can. Behind the trash can. Okay. This one doesn't count, apparently, because it's not working. There's no trash can in here. My computer had a hiccup. I mean, I'm back with my mess. Um, we're just, uh, so I went back to one of the rooms and a message suddenly appeared on the wall saying behind the trash can. So now I'm looking at all the trash cans. Trash can. It's 
something's back here. Photos, lots of them. Some kind of delivery going on in this. That medicine, can't see the face though. There's a mark on the back of the maid's hand. The sleeve covers it a little, but it means you're in a gang. Gang? A group of bad guys. Gangs tend to put some mark on their members' bodies. Yeah, back of the left hand is the most common one. This mark? There's even a photo of handing over a note. Kind of small, but... I got the antique. Leader says, pay soon. Doing business with a gang. Was that how we got that auric antique thing too? I see this place is that close by, is it? Have you been there before? This may be a rich town, but right beside it are the poor slums. Sid? No, forget it. Let's just show these pictures to that maid. Photos. Alrighty. Save a No, I don't think showing. They only show Master getting medicine and notes. Only the maid's hand can be seen. Photos? Do you see anything familiar in these photos? No, I don't. Wouldn't that make me the culprit if I did? So then would you show me the back of your hand? Sure, I don't mind. Here you go. No mark. So that maid was lying. Then the note seen in this photo here. Could you possibly tell from the handwriting who wrote it? It's too small to tell. Maybe if you showed me the actual note, I could. I see. Do you know anything about your master's sickness? Uh, I don't know the name or anything, but apparently it's difficult to cure. I feel like he's not getting better at all. Rather, he's just getting worse. Worse, you say? Yes, all the other employees are worried about him. You know for sure now, right? Yeah, let's show her these photos too. I bought a leave. Yeah. But did someone tell me that she was a long-haired woman? Okay. Okay, so then show an item. Medicine bag didn't do anything. Not the photos, though. Yeah, the photos. Because we, we didn't take the message. All right. Have you ever seen anything from these photos? No, I haven't. Then would you show me the back of your left hand? All right. Huh, there's nothing? Oh. Oh, what is it? Could you please try to find me, find the culprit instead of wasting time? Yes, I'm sorry to bother you. Any change in the lie? No, if the liar won't admit it, it's not going to take form. Then we need proper proof, like a bag with medicine still in it, or the note in that photo. If we show her those, she's got to own up. I'll take another look at that room with the maid uniforms. Okay. You got real quiet now, Yeah, huh? we need the other... Oh, hey, look, it's the fucking analyzer. First off, let's look at the, the maid room. Okay. But if she can analyze it, she can probably... She just has to look at it. Miss Iris, you two. So were you on this floor? Captains Neil and Brett arrived, and they're keeping the civilians under control downstairs. They got in? Yes, barely. Vice Captain Brett's ability found a gap to get in through. But shortly afterward, the goop spread further. And now it seems for impossible for anyone else to enter or exit. That's why I'm headed to the, for the rooftop as well. Well, we're a bit stuck. Yes, that's troubling. Can you wait here a sec? We'd like your help. Uh, yes, certainly. If we find the medicine, we'll get Iris to identify it. I'll keep analyzing. Okay. Ip, 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 ip. Trash can. Any suspicious crannies? Hmm? Oh, look! It's hard to tell, but I think this comes off. That's the same medicine bag we found in the trash. Bingo. Let's see what that what that investigator thinks of this. So then... Did we find another medicine? Wow, we have a lot of stuff already. Is this medicine? Yes, we'd like you to tell us what kind. Piece of cake, it'll be done, I'll, I'll be done in a flash. Mm. Wow, that face. Like a cat snor- like a cat scaring. Did you say exactly the same thing before? Never say it again! <laughs> uh, this is... Poison. Poison? Yes, but not a fast-acting one. It's the kind that slowly eats away at the body. And what would happen if you took this every day? This much once a day? I suppose you'd be quite weak after a month or so. 
After that, death would be highly possible, probable within a week or less. Thanks. That's a big help. Can we proceed upward now? Well, probably. Just give us a little time. Now for that note. Fucking note. It's gotta be somewhere in there. It's gotta be. Check the eyeball room. Maybe it'll give us another hint. Eyeball? Eyeball. Anything? Gross. There's nothing here to really interact with aside from the goopies. Ugh. That's why I think it might be, like, one of the maid rooms. Trash can. Oh, well, this guy did say the fucking... Oh, hmm. Yeah, like, this was... this appeared, and it was, like, behind the trash can. And I think it might be a supernatural thing, because, like, they had said a maid had seen the scene and taken the photos, and then that maid went missing. But I don't know. I'm just guessing it's a supernatural thing. What about the other doors? Do they open? I can't. There's one that's all muddied, so I'll check that in just a sec. Trash can. Boxes. Ah, well, I accidentally rested. This is where I found the item, so there probably wasn't wouldn't be much here. Eh. Full of maid uniforms. A table. A blue. We gotta find the other note, and there's a lot of crumpled stuff here. You check that little button in, yes, yeah. 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 Trash can. Huh. Okay, well. Let's check this door. Muddied up. Effie, for fuck's sake, get a straw. <laughs> get a straw. Alright, let's see. Is that writing on the floor, or is that just more goop? Can't yeah, tell. it's just, it's goop. Truth. That's true. I like how to not engage is to call it a truth. Yeah, it's probably the truth. <laughs> Let's see. Is there anything? Alrighty. Let me see. Okay, she won't talk. I don't know the illness's name, but apparently it's difficult to cure. It's not like he's not getting better. He's getting worse. I see it was a medicine bag. And having medicine. Only the two of us wear this size. The bobcat and the ponytail. Goody two shoes and I are one smaller than that. Downstairs? Uh, maybe. If she came from downstairs, it means that it's more like, more so cleared. It's no, there's, there's no, no way back. Uh, we can't, and we can't no go up, upstairs right? because can't go up. Well, fuck. It keeps multiplying. Ugh. Um, are we pixel hunting now? Was a fucking nineties fucking point and click? <laughs> I don't know, man. You check under the fucking bed. There's bullshit. I mean, That's the only thing with some of these games that it's like you have to like really pay the, attention to minute stuff. Well, did you you couldn't grab the fucking shitty note that was crumpled up, right? Let me see. Can you grab it now. Let me see. Let me see if I can grab it now. That's not it. Because it kept saying we need the other part of the note. But let me. Thank you again. I put it there as usual. You only, if only we had the note the photo shows that goes along with this one. Is it in that stack of notes? Not expecting much, but let's check. These are all new sheets. That note's not in here. Well, if we can't find it anywhere, then let's make it. Hmm? Listen, don't bother me. I'm concentrating. Oh, I like, I like him. Phew. I like that. <laughs> Whoa, I've never seen the actual note, but it looks just like the photo one. It's so small in the photo that it took a while to copy, but this should do. Whatever works, works. Let's go. God exchange That's notes. That's fucking brilliant. That's great. Yeah, it's like, well, the, the note, you can't see the note too well in the photo, but you can see enough. Yeah, fake it. So just forge it That's and say awesome. you found it. Yeah, he's a, you can't. He's what, a liar. He, at could... the end of the day, he's a fucking liar. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He's a professional liar. You just gotta get him to confess. Put him on the spot. Hey, do you know who the culprit is? The culp. Do you know the culprit yet? You've been asking us question after question. Yes, I do. Let me explain in order. There is indeed a maid who is overly close with her master, frequently communicating with him. Uh, and that maid is. 
someone with the mark of a red spider tattooed on the back of her left hand. That tattoo being the symbol of a gang that bases itself in the slums near this town. Gang? Your master had connections with the gang. He did business with them. The leader of that gang will do anything for you if you can pay the money. Even the focus of this very party. I believe even the Uric Antique was obtained via the gang's help. A maid in question wears the same uniform as you four. And you stated that only you four wear this design, correct? Y yes, that's right. The master has varied tastes, and he has many different kinds of maid uniforms. Tastes? In maids? Like cat ears? Weirdo. I see. Thank you for that info. Now, about these uh. uniforms. A gem was found in the pocket of this uniform here. Going from its size, clearly it would be quite valuable. And in this note, which I believe the master wrote... Thank you again. I put it there as usual. Can you confirm that this, without a doubt, your master's handwriting? Yes, I believe. This curly, elegant writing is indeed our master's. Eh? We can clearly surmise it refers to a payment. He communicated with this maid and sent her payment. If the payment is the gem found inside the uniform, then you can connect the dots. Well, then who is this maid? Indeed, just tell us your conclusion. Well, only four, only you four wear these uniforms, and only the ponytail and bob cut maid, maids wear this size of it. Huh? Well, it's not me, though. I'm not the culprit either. I mean, you didn't even find a tattoo on me, did you? Yes, but I did find this. Oh, is that the response to that note? That's right. The prior one was written by your master, but this one reads, I got the antique. Leader says pay soon. This is the reply of the maid he was talking to. We're down to two culprits. It should be easy to tell which wrote, who, which wrote this, yes? Isn't this your writing? It, it most certainly is. This is yours, isn't it? Then is there any doubt that you are the culprit? But the tattoo... Maybe I didn't mention. You could always be hiding it with foundation or the like. Ugh. I have some cleaning cream, some cleansing cream in my pocket if you need it. Well, want us to try it? Oh, fine, it's me! So what? Stop howling like damn monkeys about this! He told me he disposed of everything, but he clearly didn't! He's just a monkey too, isn't he? Ugh. Whoa, she looks scary! I don't give a crap about that soft-headed mohawk guy. Our leader's a million times more handsome. You guys have no taste. Wh what did you say? With the culprit exposed, there's one more thing. This is the medicine you were giving to your master. We found it to be poison. What's the meaning of this? Oh, that. The leader told me to, so I just gave it to mohawk every day. Guess he's been late. Guess he's been late with payments lately. Can't complain about that. About getting poisoned, then can you? You really are the gang sword, aren't you? I knew you were suspicious. You barely did cleaning or laundry and even walked funny. Huh? Aren't you to blame for those stinky toilets and always wearing the same clothes? They're really arguing. Well, getting involved with gangs never turns out well. But now that she's admitted her lie, I can eat that monster. The, the, um, I one. Good luck with that. <laughs> Alrighty. Are they still arguing? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, no, Theo's freaking great. <laughs> huh? You. <laughs> you bitch. Bitch. <laughs> A gang that's so scary. I'll never forgive you. <laughs> Keeps multiplying. Ooh. Oh, it's a gross lie. Gross, gross lie. Gross lie. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Get the shit out of here. Yeah. Oh, no. I never want to eat a lie like that again. You didn't eat at all. Is that going to be okay? Yeah, um, I just ate until I couldn't make any more goopy lies. And I don't want to eat anymore. <laughs> Please. Here, I'll give you some sweets to clear the taste. Oh, cream puffs! <laughs> Still so, there. Yeah, no, she ate only enough of it. She didn't want to eat all of it. 
Does so it mean you can kill these fucking things now, too? Uh, let's see. They might still be too goopy. Glob. Slap. Slap. Oh, it leveled up. No. Yeah, it's all muddy. Okay. No. It's still... these, are, these are still too gooey. Need doesn't, to get the she, mop. She doesn't want to eat them. A little rest. Alrighty. Huh? What? Got all muddled. Got all muddied up again. I know, way back again. Just have to keep moving. No, oh, we meet again. How are you faring, brother? You said it before. You said that before. Why the hell? I don't have any siblings. I can't be your brother. Hmm. Have you really forgotten? Perhaps I'm much more talkative than I once was. It certainly has been a long, long time. Perhaps this will jog your memory. I doubt it. Well, Theo? You're... Cyril. <laughs> so you do remember after all. Ah, that's right. You seem to remember your brother Enos as well. Were you accomplices from the beginning? Well, well, who can say? It has nothing to do with you either way, brother. Traitor. You don't want to talk, do you? Fine by me. His face got a little creepy when he said, uh, traitor. Yeah. You there, dragon girl. Are you alright? It seems to be proving quite effective. Almost scary how well it works, I'd say. You mean how I can't control my power? Yes, when we first met, do you recall that ringing? It was an ultrasonic wave which destabilized your power. Though, it's a human at fault for the lies spreading so much. Were you not after the Uric Antique then? What benefit is it to you making her power unstable? It's true, I am a phantom thief. I do need to steal the treasure. Yet, this seems to be a fake. Couldn't you tell? Wealthy folks are so clueless in that regard. At any rate, the treasure was not the focus here. You asked me if I had a grudge against you. I know you, so I suppose you must already realize, Theo. Lying makes one succumb to the lies, was it? Then, why not you, Brother Theo? Are you simply lying more to make the lies unclear? Uh, lying on top of lies? You're just desperately hiding. I wouldn't be surprised to see it crumble soon enough. Don't worry, I'll help you with that. Alrighty. Yeah. A little butterfly is all over them. Yeah. Slap. Anyway, cool boss fight, bro. Slap. <laughs> slap, <laughs> slap, slap, slap. <coughs> what? What's the gang need from the stomping ground of kids? Oh, it's another flashback. I need the you. Did you steal a gun? Speak up. Uh, I don't know. Uh, didn't get the wrong people, did they? Crap, they found out before the things we stole before- They found out about the things we stole before, too. What, what do we do? Wonder if they'll kill us. S Stop it! Don't say that stuff, okay? But they're really mad. We're talking about going against the gang here. Then I'll talk to it with their leader. So you stay here for now. We're not gonna run. This is our turf, ain't it? There's nowhere to run. It was our mistake. We should- You don't need to come. Just wait here. Uh, oh, oh Whoa. shit! Is that a lie poking out of his shirt. Yeah. Sid, are you being taken by the lies? Sid, don't touch me. Listen, don't, don't come any closer. How fragile. Well, it shouldn't be long now. Let's move this along, shall we? Up, oh, and here's the and here's the I'm by myself phase of the game. Huh? Uh, well. Where's Sid? I'm alone. Was he trying to keep from being possessed all along? I'll protect him. I promised him that. I have to go save him. Ah! Ah, 
I'm scared. Sid. <coughs> it's okay. I have the legendary gloop. <laughs> you can't eat. It's all muddied. Ooh, the music. I guess the fucking foreshadow kept catching up to him, huh? Yeah, they keep saying, like, it's gonna catch up to you someday, dude. It's gonna catch up to you someday. Now it is. Because, especially last game, there seemed to be hints of, like, some a past he doesn't want to talk about. Why he does the things he does. It's all muddied up. Yeah. Can't go up. Just the big door? Yeah, it's probably the big door, but I'm just checking in case I find something. But she's like... Oh, super she's legendary like, items. She's like a one-year-old, so it's like... Uh, she's like one. Because like, when the other chick came in and she was like, I've lived a whole nine years, she's like, that's eight more than me! Hey. Paper? But it's blank. At times like this, you burn it, soak it in water, turn it upside down, um... Blank note. A lock. A rest spot. A rest spot, sweet. Well, if they're gonna make it so you can't really progress or go back, there's a mirror here. Oh. Oh. Writing. 4C into the dark. 4C? I can't see a thing. I can't go ahead here. Wait, wait, you could see in the dark before though. Yeah, but they did that ringing thing, which is interfering with her power. It's unsta- oh. it's destabilized it. Fear not the blades. Blades? Ow! This is all spiky. I'd get pricked if I tried to push it. Okay. There's one more door here. Oh. Give yourself to the shadows. shadows. Oh, it's this fucking kind of puzzle like in Pokemon. Oh man, is it? No, they just goo. Well, that's what right. there's, there's, there's a there's a there's a there's a mirror here. Mm -hmm. Eight one zero and what looks like eight. Huh? I can see numbers on this paper in the mirror. Eight one zero eight. A lock. Eight. It's a mirror though. One zero eight. Yeah, I know. Guess that's not it. So eight one zero eight eight zero one eight. Opened. Whoa! It, it was made of lies. That surprised me. Mirror. Okay, so I guess puzzle one is solved. Yeah. All right. Sorry, yeah. I'm late. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh man. Why did my first job have to be this one? Uh, is... Is this what they call it? Exploitation? Oh. <coughs> this is the third floor, isn't it? <coughs> Going up just one floor is rather time-consuming. Oh, he's changed a little bit. Oh. Yes, that's just because our attacks do so little to the lump of lies. Our abilities as dragons aren't well suited to dealing with them. Huh? He gets ever closer to looking like Marth. Yeah. The captains? Ah, the young, the young lady. So you're here. I don't see your caretaker, though. He went away somewhere. And left you behind? Um, no, I'm not like that. Sid said I shouldn't get close to him, so he went away. I think, so, um, don't get mad at Sid. Iris, can you tell where he is right now? Yes, sir! Wait just a moment! At any rate, are you alright? Even as we speak, these mud-like lies only continue to multiply. It must mean that you're continually using your power. Yeah, that's why it's all, yeah. Again, the, it all manifested because of the weird, like, sound. And it's mm. making everything kind of frantic. A little bit kind of like how um, in the previous one, um, Will uh, William's power was being unstabilized. As, yeah. And uh, he was able to consume everything. Mm. What the hell? My freaking phone's, like, going off. I'm just kind of dizzy. Is that bad? Yeah, so it's that thing of like, clearly younger dragons or dragons in general, their powers can be destabilized and then it kind of causes this chaos. Dragons may, dragons may be made of sturdier stuff than humans, but they can still die. 
If they're stabbed enough times, say, they'll die eventually. It's only our lifespans that are roughly double, supposedly. That isn't quite definite either. But most importantly, you can die whenever you expend too much of your power. Since you're still young, your capabilities are limited. Many child dragons end up losing their lives by running rampant and losing too much power. Sorry to keep you waiting. He's in a passage a floor above. But also, I sense the presence of some others up there too. Maybe it's the thief. Maybe it's the thief. She said she made me lose control with ultrasonic wa somnic waves. Oh, it's a girl. Sweet. Oh wait, they said it was a she. Dog doy. <laughs> ultrasonic waves. Hmm. If that's the thief to, be, to if it's the thief to blame, it's possible you can be brought back to normal. At any rate, our priority is to meet with this person. But this area is dangerous. It has more masses of lies moving around unpredictably. How did you get up here? How did you get up here? For some time, the mud was too unstable to get through, but the mud suddenly stopped moving, so Vice Captain Brett used his power to pass through. Well, there was this lie in the shape of a lock. And as soon as I opened it, Miss Iris showed up. What the fuck is up with my phone? Hold on. Mm. Uh, okay. No, I know what I know what this is. I'm just gonna put my phone on the disturb. As soon as I opened it, Miss Iris showed up. I see. Perhaps if we break more of these lie locks, the mud in this area will co also come to a halt. If there's anything we can do, we shall assist you. I think it would be best to leave at least two here, so pick one of us to go with you. If you want to change who accompanies you, we'll switch places. We'll be keeping watch on things up above. Oh, uh, okay. Alright. I get it. So some of them can do... All the puzzles make complete sense now. Yeah. We get the All left right. side one done first, the right side one, and the middle one. Uh, let's see. So this one analyzes. Uh, the captain can't die. He's a, literally just a dragon of immortality. Brett can pass through shadows, and Iris can see the truth. Or can just see through anything. Let's go together. Me? Huh? Okay, got it. Let's go. Brett and butter. <laughs> the chief is called Brett and butter. <laughs> That's cute. What does he uh use? Shadow. Shadow. Black ribbon. Police. From the dragon children. Sparkles when hit by light. Uniform used by police. Made of sturdy stuff, but a little heavy. It's said that touching the shadow takes you to some otherworldly place. Okay, so I He's think... He's high level. Holy shit. Oh, yeah, he is. 50 fucking... Oh, wow. 58. Okay. Okay, this says, fear. give yourself to the shadows. Mr. Brett, can you move around here and here and there and here? Yeah. There isn't much of that mud here, so I can mo use my ability to move around. I see. I'll let Brett move around and look for the lock. Yeah, I see. Yeah, now it's a Pokemon thing. Ooh. Uh huh, I get fucked. They're like, you know what I like? Pokemon. And I'm like, wow. Here it is. That was fucking easy. Found it. What now? Uh, well, um, it's got a form, so I can eat it. Seeing it again, it's a rather interesting ability. You just swallow a fucking lie. Yup, because it's made of lies. Really? I think your ability is way cooler, Mr. Brett. You think so? Well, I do think it's good. Well, I do think it's good for to have an ability useful for battle. For battle? Yeah, the unit the captain and I lead specializes in fighting criminals. How does Mr. Captain fight? Decoy? Playing dead? The captain uses a large sword. It's hard to hey. tell since he's so tall himself, but it's a very huge sword. Figured he'd have to learn something besides his ability. Most dragon abilities aren't usually suited to battle, even if, like I said, mine is. Huh? Like how? Phasing through objects allows for freedom of movement, and I can use it on others too. So if a foe approaches, I can extend my shadow and sink right into it. And where do you go when you sink? You want to know? No, um, that's okay. Yeah. Anyway, it's not like we go straight to battle. Until we're certain we're facing a criminal, the captain says not to lay a finger on them. I can't foul them why. Just slice them up and be done with it. You really don't like humans, huh, Mr. Brett? No. You would never hate him, would you? Well, he might flick my head and refuse to play with me and lie like a ton. But there's still a whole lot to like about him, too. So I'd never hate Sid. And I've gotten to go to t lots of towns and meet lots of nice people. I see. Perhaps I'll be able to think that way too someday. Yeah, 
I'm with you all the way. Something here. Cream puffs. And that takes us right well, back I'm to the beginning. Yeah, I just want to see where are the magoobies. What are you looking for? I want to see what I want to see how they fight. Oh, no, nope, we can't find them. Oops. Oh well, let's go. That comes the hard part of wanting to fucking fail. Alrighty. Let's go together. You're with Brett, so I'll take his place. As you wish. Go for it, Captain. Me and Neely McGee. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's save. He's level 82. Item. No, equip. What's he use? Large sword. Huge. Pretty huge and pretty heavy. Eye patch from the Dragon Children. See through. So it's purely for style. <laughs> Alright. His is Fear Not the Blades. These statues have lots of, um, blades on them? So my hand would get hurt if I tried to push them. Hmm, then I'll push them instead. I can just grab on and push. I have hardly any perception of pain after all, so no need to worry. I'll leave it to Mr. Captain to push these then. Alrighty. I do not feel pain. <laughs> I can't suffer. Anyway, anyway, how much higher level is he than, than Brett? Uh, so Brett was 58, 82. he's 82. Yeah. Can we look at his equipment or? I I just did. It was a large sword. It said pretty oh, huge and pretty, pretty heavy. Huge. And then it's the eye patch. Sword. And then eye patch says from the dragon children see through, so it's purely for style. He ah. he's just wearing an eye patch. <laughs> what a fucking nerd. <coughs> what an absolute fucking dork. Alrighty. No goopies yet. Probably ones as if it's a berserk reference. This whole deal. Maybe. His guts is and he's missing an eye. Well, he's not I'm missing. Fine. You forgot to eat the lock. Well, like I wanted to see what would happen if I like touched the door before eating the lock. I thought we yeah. locked the door. I didn't know it'd take me all the way back to the beginning. I would have loved it if it stopped saying, oh, "What about the lock?" Like, let's go, but the, <coughs> the lock, eat it. Or the lock, you just teleport. Like, huh? How's work? Alrighty. There's something in here. Choco Puffs. Found it. It's got a form so I can eat it. Young lady, have you grown somewhat? Oh, huh? have I? <laughs> All right. To dragons, height is a, sh a sign of growing stronger. Have you been more attuned to the smell of lies and have had more of an appetite lately? Yeah, so someday I could be as tall as you, Mr. Captain. If you reach my height, you'd surely be towering above your caretaker. Oh, then I guess he couldn't carry me or give me piggyback rides. Perhaps you should stay a bit shorter than him then. Mr. Captain, was your, uh, mom taller than you? The prior captain? I was shorter at first. With time, my power grew until I overtook her in height. And your ability is to not die, right? Yes, an ability that answered to her wish. The woman who birthed me, the former captain, said she wished that I'd always be with her. Because her job involved many dangerous criminals, naturally, she lost many allies. She said she could feel respect and trust in others, but no more. A lonely barrier surrounded her. But Miss Former Captain is gone now, isn't she? Yes, even though the wiser, the, wish, the wisher is gone from this world, I have not lost my ability. Before she was laid to rest, she told me to take the reins of this force. Perhaps my abilities go on because these words served as a new wish from my master. Dragon's abilities come from people's wishes? So, like, Mr. Bretts and stuff, too? Hmm. I've never exactly asked him for details, so this is mere conjecture. Brett was found with a criminal organization that focused on slave trading. His wisher may have sought an ability to conduct kidnappings without being caught, perhaps. So even wishes like that can make dragons? Yes. It doesn't have much to do with the contents, surely. Dragons must simply be born in response to a powerful wish. What did Sish Sid wish for to make me? Yeah, so it seems like dragons I are born. Did... It seems like dragons are born in the in this world when humans have a strong desire. In the I think. Mm -hmm. I think Sid's wish, or Theo's wish, whatever you want to call him, is to be freed from his never-ending lie. 
Probably. Because with the captain, the wish was someone who'd be with them forever. And then with Brett, was probably someone who could help them traffic people. Without getting caught. You want me to switch with Captain Neil? Understood. Stick together, you two. Iris up your coffee. Alrighty. So she's level 20. And she has a self-defense knife. Small knife for investigators. Fluffy black. Oh, it's the things in her hair. Cannot equip. Yeah. Cannot equip the maid uniform. Fluffy. Stuff used by police made of sturdy stuff. Can I actually equip Afy with the... Oh my god, it's super frilly. <laughs> it's got pl it's got 55 defense. Yep. It's objectively stronger. Alrighty, that's funny. You can actually put it, it on. It doesn't change her. her outfit, but that it'd be funny if her little sprite art changed in that the would next be cutscene. That would be cute. Alrighty. I lose if Theo is like, "What the fuck you wear?" Foresee into the dark. It's all dark and gloomy oh. here. Ah, oh, I can handle this. It seems to me mud that's weak enough to pass through if I analyze it. Okay, analyze it. I'll have Miss Iris analyze here. I can't see anything. It's all right. Leave this to me. Okay, now hold my hand. <laughs> oh. Whoa, I can see. While we're holding hands, you can share my vision. Okay, let's go. What the fuck wished you into existence? Yeah, man. You know, um, I have two different perspective because dragons and wishing or combined i'm thinking destiny since those were actual things in destiny maybe oh they're called wish dragons and they're just monkey's paw like genie monkey paw oh, you can't... Dick. they were dickhead assholes you can't fight them with the oh nope they're just kind of there to get in the way uh one of the wish dragon the only wish dragon left is actually a raid you go to that recycle that cycles through every week because that's the wish of a never-ending suffering <laughs> or some shit like that uh, like a per like because it's it's what it wanted to have, so it made it granted its own wish. <laughs> Squish. And Squish. then in the last one, latest One Piece chapter, actually, there's a theory that devil fruits exist because humans wish to be great, be bigger and better than what they are. Oh, strawberry caramel like and the big wish, puffs. Like the wish and the belief in like there being a god of something is so strong and manifests as a devil fruit. Yeah. That's a new theory, anyway, that's been presented in, like, literally the last chapter that's out. Now, I will say, this game a lot of has, items. has given us a lot of healing items. So <laughs> many. Well done. Is this one you can eat? Yep, time to eat. Right, mission complete. Yep. Hey, Miss Iris, were you cared for by the police when you were a kid? Yeah, that's right. So do you hate humans? No. The one who raised me, he was an old man. We explored together and investigated unknown plants. He was a wonderful person. Huh? If he was a good guy, then why did you end up here in the police care? He was killed by a bad person. They kidnapped me and tried to sell me somewhere. Sorry to bring back bad memories. No, no, it's fine. Captain Neil and Vice Captain Brett saved me, so... Now I'm just so glad to be lending them a hand. The captains really are amazing. They really are. All the dragon children look up to him. Uh, them. I mean, Vice Captain Brett isn't quite so popular. Why? Well, Vice Captain Brett is... Um, the kids are scared of him. Like he's from a horror movie. Horror? Feared? Does Mr. Brett not like children? Not so. I'm sure he loves them. He's just so kind. But it's because he suddenly appears from walls and floors. The kids get startled and start crying, you see? When I was little, I got spooked and cried like 17 times. Oh, I see. That makes sense. <laughs> Oh. oh no, Brett. <laughs> he, that's just how he teleports and gets his way around because it's easiest, but he scares the kids. <laughs> no. But he loves the scared? kids. <laughs> no. Does, because that's the thing. It's like he was he was tortured and made a slave and he yeah. was rescued as a kid. And he doesn't want other dragons to go through that, so he loves kids. <laughs> oh, oh no. that's so sweet. Oh, the poor dumb asshole. Oh, that makes me want to cry. Um, and this and this one was made by just an old man who wanted to know things. Yeah. An explorer. And, and, yeah. But the two of them are Fuck. so role models to us all. I need to strive to live up to them myself. Yeah, I'll try my best too. 
the kind old man who he probably just wished for someone to help him on his re with his yeah, research. Yeah, just wanted to. Just he, want he sounds like a botanist. Just wanted to discover things. Yeah. The lie stopped. Oh man. We can go to the fourth floor. Let's catch up to Sid. Huh. Gloops. <sighs> what the? Well, the lock's gone. It seems like the mud crumbled down all at once. I see. But as long as we can send this lady towards the stairs, only the mud around us fell. So there'll be nothing blocking her way from there. And I'll carry you to the other side with my ability. But what about you guys? You need not worry about us. You're the only one who can save him, aren't you? Okay, got it. Go ahead, Mr. Brett. Right. Stand still right there. Is this, is this to imply that all the mud fell off the ceiling? Yeah. Gotta <laughs> get going. Man, it's, man, the other side must be, like, black as pitch. Yeah, holy shit. You're gonna go Gloop. up. Gloop-a-doop. Gloop-a-doop. That's <laughs> they keep popping up! Blech. Blech. Just bleh. Just bleh. Blech. Almost sounds like a door opening. I, I don't know why you rest, you didn't fight. Blech. You're in my way! Uh... Oh, he's a little eye. Little eye, boys. Goodbye. Yeah. Wait for me. I'm coming right now. What are you planning, Captain Neil? They'll only regenerate if you attack. There's simply no end to them. Then let's leave them no time to regenerate. Fighting isn't your unit, Iris, so don't push yourself too hard. I can handle myself just fine. Hmm. Well... We can at least keep them at bay, I'm sure. Hey, the group shot. Yeah. Ooh, you're kind of looking like a heartless brother. Damn it. Where'd your eyes go? Now, here's the thing. Again, it's like there's that part of like that his sprite where something looks like it's coming out of his mouth, and I always just kept telling myself it's bubblegum, but it looks really weird. I blood and ooze. Well, like this is before he got all like goopy. Oh no, it's Chinese censorship. <laughs> my, you still haven't been my, so you still haven't been fully overtaken how long do you intend to struggle ah, oh, I see too hard to even speak and even she's bound to betray you isn't she, oh, how pitiful I see it's still there, perhaps it's better for you over there or maybe it's there as a warning to yourself. Well done keeping it hidden with gloves and other such cheap tricks. This is the end. Flashback. Huh? Hey, what'd you just say? I'm joining that gang. Hold on. Theo, didn't your parents, didn't they die because of the wars that gang got into? Yeah, that's why we want to get revenge someday. So, oh, so are you going to threaten them? Well, well then we should... What? What's this? Money. With this much, you three can go live in the town nearby. I think he was planning... He was asking what you're planning to do. How did you get so much money? I borrowed it from the gang. You can get this kind of money easily with them. But telling the three of us to go to another town? We can't just... Yeah, we're family, right? We're all Leonhards here. Theo, brother, do you think money is more important than we are? Yeah, maybe I do. Get a grip, you idiots. You're not going to make any money in a place like this. Enough being weighed down. Just take the money and get out of my sight. Why? W wait. Hey. Leonhard. We still carry that name now. After that, we were lucky enough to be taken into a care facility in this town. Once we had grown up, we began to get to work. Even if our work was little more than, a, than an imitation of that storybook. The staff that makes ultrasonic waves is really something. Enos made it, you see. And it seems you've been rather busy yourself, Theo. It's all right. Now it'll all be over. I won't go so far as to destroy the world. But I can sink this whole area, at least. It's all for the best. 
You hated everything about that town, didn't you? I'll even grant you revenge, as well as ours, too. So how will it all end? I can't wait. What should I do, Effie? Blech. Oh, cool, I can keep going. Goopy! Oh, there's another eye here. Eye. I don't really want to go in there. Oh, his, his fucking touch is getting weird. Yeah. Is this my punishment for it all? I can smell his lies. Gloop. Goop. Goop. It's all muddied up. Oh yeah, he's been he's getting Sid? No. This just smells like lies. Oh, he's got an outfit change. Yeah. Yo, Effie. What were you up to? Come on, let's destroy this whole disgusting world with lies. <coughs> Welcome. Glad you could make it. Although, you're too late. He's different from before. Indeed, when lies overtake a person, they lose themselves. Isn't that right? My brother here, my brother here piled on lies such that they became a part of who he was. Even a young one like you yourself can understand, surely. Weren't you always with him? I, I have to get those off. I have to eat them. And how might you do that? You're already at your limits. I don't know if I can eat them if he's gone this far gone, but I... Great big liar. Big liar. <laughs> great big, because that's what he is. He's a great yeah. big liar. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, I that's a big lie. He's too strong. And here's the thing, like, before in the previous games when you're fighting him, he has an ability called, like, lie and big lie. And those heal you. Those um give her energy to, like, make a, um, do a certain attacks. What's the matter? You're awful cheery today, aren't you? Mess around too much and I'm skipping over your snack today. Huh? That's him, the same as ever, the one I know. What a pitiful end. Fitting for my traitorous brother, I suppose. It's all over now, all of it. So long, Brother Theo. It's okay. It might take a while, but I'll get you back to normal. Okay, Theo? What was a dazzling, shiny town is now covered with dark mud. It's still as murky as ever, overflowing all over the place. Maybe it's more than I can ever eat. Oh. But even then, someday I'll get stronger so I can eat all of it. So until then... Bad ending. Bonnie and oh. Clyde. I've never gotten a bad ending. What did we do wrong? I do not know. Mm. Why huh. are her eyes two different colors? I don't know. But Okay, cool. I wonder. Go through the eyeball? Maybe. He doesn't want to go through it though. Well, what tough. Did, He's not in control did, of the situation, what is he? Did we, what did we do wrong? Oh, go in. Ah, told you. Ah! Oh. Memory. Mm. No, no, it's a... Oh, it's an actual... It's a, it's, a, it's a room. I guess we didn't go ahead with plan B after all, huh? We've been tons of... Would have been tons of fun. Oh. <laughs> no idea what the hell you're saying. Oh man, these are sturdy. Hey Enos, did Theo wear a green jacket? Mm. Ah, he doesn't look like he's in any condition to talk. 
Huh? I knew it. It's too awkward, so he's keeping silent. No, but, well, that could be part of the reason. Yeah, you're right. You, you guys, what are you doing? Whoa, are you okay? Yeah, are you? But I guess we did this to you, didn't we? After that day, we started living in this town, and now, uh... I became an inventor, and Jean a pilot. So yeah, the bad ending is just... Her power remains unstable, but she's with him forever. I became an inventor, and Jean a pilot. And Cyril a phantom thief, who the two of us help out. I guess we just weren't raised to be good people. Looks like Theo's been swindling people out of their money himself. Do you remember that time? Do you care? I see. Well, look, if it's been a burden on you, Theo, I'm sorry. We really just hold you back. No, that's not what I meant when I said that. Is it now? Cyril told you, didn't she? That's how she feels now. No, for a long time now. And I thought a lot about that day myself. But, you know, I still believe in you, Theo. I'm sure C Cyril must feel sort of a nagging feeling somewhere inside her. The proof is in our names. She never abandoned our connection as Leonhards. Yeah, none of us three have, have. We're all still Leonhards. Yeah, kind of a lame name thinking about it now, but I guess it was spur of the moment. Yeah, sounds too much like you're trying to sound cool. Makes you hesitate a bit. Oh, that's right. Theo thought it up, didn't he? Never thought we'd get to talk like this again. Cyril's on the rooftop. If you keep this up, she's going to finish you off there. If you want one, Theo, we could find you a way out. No need. I need to go. Apologize to her. I see. Got it. Guess you never did stop pushing yourself, no matter what people said. We'll leave Cyril to you. Even after that, all that happened, Cyril hasn't given up Lee and Hart name either. Maybe there's some misunderstanding between us. I've got your back. I really can't do anything, can I? We're to blame for doing all this, too. Even after you sent us away from there to live good, proper lives. I guess we're just not suited to being honest. <laughs> Sorry. He fucking had his one everything. eye shut. Fucking. Yeah, everything about that day and everything after all of it. I can smell Ooh. Sid's lies. Maybe that's what I needed to do. Cause I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do that because I just took the immediate like I can't go in there. So it's not he can't go in there. He didn't want. He to didn't want to. It's all muddled up. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, this is a smidgen different. Yeah. Already. Oh hey. Sid. Hmm. So you made it. Too late, I fear. I'm just about to finish up. Let's end this. Ugh. Goopy. Sid? No, it's not. This is the smell of lies. Was Sid taken by the lies? <laughs> That's right. But you know, it's no big difference from before. Wouldn't you know, Afi? He's different. Indeed, when lies overtake a person, they lose themselves. Isn't that right? My brother here piled on lies such that they became a part of who he was. Even a young one like yourself can understand, surely. Weren't you always with him? But he isn't gone yet, so it's all right. He'll be all right. What are you going to do? I'm going to eat. Look at that confidence. Still a great big liar. Fucking yeah. get him. Restoring power. Slap Ah! Yeah, he attacks Still first. a lot of damage. So... Oh, I did less damage. Yeah, um, and he went first the previous time. So I'm guessing yeah, if you didn't talk to his other two friends, he was going to be this by now, and she would be too full to eat. Storing power. Well, we're going to... There we go. What? Uh. <coughs> I couldn't eat them all. I see. I'm too weak. It's okay. I promise I'll protect you. Could this be? I'm sensing a huge outpouring of energy. It's 
That girl. It seems she intends to use every ounce of her power. No way, she's only been around for a year. Her tiny body won't be able to handle using that much power. She'll perish. Huh? I see. Then, this is the choice she's made. Effie? The stronger I get, the more I use my power, the more Ooh. I can grow. That fucking art there, what the shit? Yeah. Hey. I promised you that I'd protect you. But I couldn't become strong. So this is how it ended up. You may not have listened, flicked my forehead, took away my snacks, and dragged me around. But we went so many places together, met all these people, and I ate a lot of lies. Without you, Sid, I'd be all alone. I wouldn't have had all those joys. So this one last time, I'll eat your lies, Sid. Because I'm sure this is what I was born for. But I'm also going to be selfish and break a promise. Hey. Don't flick my forehead too hard for this. Hey, Fee. Bye-bye, Theo. I love you. What a foolish thing. Oh, well. It's not what I planned for, but I suppose I've gotten revenge on my brother. <laughs> so long. Look at the time. Better hurry before it gets dark. It's so quiet. I couldn't protect anybody. Again. And alone again, naturally. Oops. Okay, so that's not a good ending either. It's just an end. Yeah, it's in ending. Hmm. Really best. Okay, so we got well, the- Don't rotate your save file. <laughs> hey, I- we've been you going pretty good. Like, we never got, like, a bad ending. Um... Mm. Alrighty, so one second. So... So, the bad ending, she can't help him, but they travel around and things just kind of go to shit, I guess. It what seems like, this, they, they didn't say this was a bad ending. She just sacrifices herself, um, and that's where that goes. So, hmm. let's see. So, chapter three. Okay. Um So the way to get this ending, I need her to be above level 12, which Fuck I think you she, level requirement. It's a level <laughs> requirement. You have to beat things up. So go in. That's fucking bullshit. That's never been a thing before, has it? I don't know. It's hard to say because I would usually just fight everything. Um, let's see if we can do that, though. I think a gooey appears that we can just grind on for a bit. Dog shit. Get him. Okay. We're level... I can't see. Like seven. Last time I remember anyway all muddled i can't eat this we're level eight so we need we need to grind on this gooey this thing's ass well that's the thing like I, and i think that's where like the like the game is trying to tell you where she's like i'm too weak i can only overexert myself and die in the process so they get the the pot the good end the true good end on this one is to be you have to grind 12. you have to grind essentially which i mean you get the, you get the chance to again these these little gooeys, they don't go away. There's not that many room for enemies in this game. 
I guess they really didn't want to hammer home the whole two week, two week, can't handle it, can't eat too much. Yeah, so the first- eat a bunch of immortal enemies all over the place. Yeah, so. Huh. I guess in that, I guess in their own way, that make that's that's pretty solid game design. Yeah, so because again, I'm looking at this and I'm like, this up until this point, it's really straightforward. It's really straightforward. So we should, I guess we have to just pay attention to the text more. If you go straight ahead, you get the bad ending. You didn't talk to his other friends and get some sort of closure. And then if you're not strong enough, Afy's like outright says. I'm not strong enough. I can only do this. Um, and then I'm guessing we'll see what the good ending is once we get a fee above 12. Oh, that. Oh, we be you. Oh, we're level 14 now. <laughs> yeah, that's easy. All right, let's put this here. Should we heal up some or something? Um, eh, it should be fine. The the boss battles quick enough. It's all muddled up. All right. Let's see how differently this plays. Yeah, Sid. So you made it. Let's end this. Yeah. That noise hurts my ears. Yeah. This is cool, though. Mm -hmm. I love the little cinematic bits. Yeah. All right. He does look like a fucking yeah, like or like like person's first anime bad guy. <laughs> when he do, he hits good like look at him. look at him. He looks like such a fucking dork. <laughs> like it, like it looks like he belongs in like fucking Blood Knight or what the fuck it was called yeah. Vampire Knight. <laughs> Though I do always appreciate fuzzy collared things. Yeah, I love that's fuzzy like a, collars. Like a... Fuzzy collars and capes are so good. Fucking, I do. It's I do like that part of Vegas design at least. Everyone and seems I, to my, like that with Vegas design. It's cool. I mean, my fucking tight, my Titan and Destiny is the, the chest piece has like a fuzzy bit on it. So yeah, it's like, like I, I, I know that I, I gave him when I when I designed Vega, I I had looked at some like some some um things and again I love capes that have cl like fuzzy cl cloaks on it. It really does sell something. And then it just kind of ended up working. I just remember when I first showed Fomal the designs for um, Hadar and Vega, they like fell in love with Vega and they're like, I love this, I love this. And they pointed to the cloak. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's try now. Perhaps, have I failed? Perhaps I misunderestimated the might of a dragon. Sid? Sid, are you okay? Yeah, thanks Effie. Ah. Ah, uh, you still look dizzy. Be careful. What? What? I have no intent of apologizing. Fine, because I'm the one who's going to apologize. Apologizing won't change a thing. Fine if it doesn't. I don't care if you keep hating me forever. I lied to you all. About joining the gang? No, I did join them. You saw the mark on my hand, didn't you? So then what? You lied about how money was more important than us? Because that's still true. You're tricking people to line your own pockets. Close, but not quite. I have to save money, because I might die otherwise. What do you mean? I talked with the leader of the gang. Told them how we'd been stealing from them. Thought they'd kill me. But they said if I could pay up, then they'd forgive everything we did. It was a pretty huge sum they were asking, of course. Don't tell me you joined the gang to pay it all yourself. Don't cut out everything but the conclusion. Why didn't you tell us about this then? If I did, you wouldn't have left. I couldn't have asked you to come with me. I'd weigh you down. I'd have hated nothing more than to take your freedom. So what about all that money you gave us? Surely you couldn't have gotten a loan just after joining. I sold my kidney. <laughs> Stitches. What's that wound on your side from? I wanted to give you guys money so you could get out of it there right away. I joined the gang, so I couldn't go there any anymore. So I needed lots of money, and I needed it right away. 
So I sold- God damn it! He sold wow. one of his kidneys! So I sold one of my- Yo, a kidney goes for like 35 grand. Yeah, organs are valuable. Yeah, so I sold one of my kidneys for that money. What? I have to apologize to you for lying to you. It's practically impossible to escape from those people. After I told them I was out after paying the money, they beat the crap out of me. So, I just found a chance and ran. If they found me, they'd probably kill me. Their leader seems to have connections to some pretty high places, too. So I needed to change my name and appearance as I moved, never staying long in one place. And for that, I need money. It was for us? Why did you... You... Never told us. What have I been doing all this time? What did I despise you for? Forget it. You can keep despising me. It's still true that I lied to you all. And as much as I lied to all kinds of folks, I lied to protect people. But things as dirty as lies can't be how you protect people. They're only used as a messy means to cover up the things you want to hide. People leave you and hate you because you did that to your you did that yourself. You reap what you sow. power this doesn't mean that I've forgiven you brother a, a helicopter someday somewhere I'll disgrace myself to see you again sure ah we're so high up can we um hold on can we go lower or uh I told you not to look outside where am I supposed to look? I'm not sure we'll meet again. Let me take one last look. Oh, oh no. My vision's blurring. I can't see. Don't say that kind of stuff in front of Cyril. See ya, Theo. Is it okay to leave things like that? Yeah. That's how they've chosen to live their lives. And this is how I've chosen to live mine. I see. <sighs> Roughest thing this whole year. What's second worst? The weeds I ate three days ago. Oh, that bad. Let's go. Okay. My powers got stable again, so I could clean up all the lies. That rich guy was really sad about losing his Auric anteats. I wonder if it's okay not to tell him it was a fake anyway. Hey, hurry up, Effie. I'm closing the door. Huh? Hey, wait! Theo! My pointer. <laughs> Is that it? Where's my pretty picture that tells me I beat the game? There we go. Oh. Huh. I'm guessing it's after the credits. That was cute. That went deeper than yeah. I thought it would. Yeah. I really like these. These are really, I really enjoyed these. Mm -hmm. Like they're very short and sweet, which is why like you can buy th the three chapters at Steam for like a very small price. Mm. I fucking love the captains. <laughs> they're so funny. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a lot. They're like, what like, the fuck is sit, this? He's just an A. <laughs> The characters are cute and quirky, and they don't overstay their welcome. Nope. I had never gotten any of the other endings for the other games. We just went straight Man. onwards, so... That's interesting. I guess that's the end of this story, huh? Yeah, no, well, that's the end of it. I'm finally- <laughs> I'm finally able to eat your lies, Theo! So I guess that means I win. I don't recall it being a competition. Uh, um, so I was wondering something. What did you wish for that made me appear, Theo? The lies I told them. They would never go away, no matter how long it had been. Maybe that's when I made a wish that called for you. Are you gonna keep lying? Yep. Con man wouldn't be able to do his job if he went honest, now would he? Huh. I was right. Alright, how about this? I won't lie to you, ever again. Really? Yeah, promise. Then, do you like me? Don't hate you. Ha! <laughs> well, I love you.
love you too, Theo. Do you now? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go exploring. Aww. This game is fucking precious. Yeah, now we can look at the Figma bobs. So. Oh, the fucking mask off and all that. Yeah, the mask off. The very end of the game. Uh, this was, I think, when the chick appeared. Yeah. Yeah. And then the very beginning, we we the very beginning of the game, we see this little cinematic. Um, I sold my kidney. Bad end. So yeah, so she just kind of stays with him, because she's like, I just want to stay with him, but I can't eat the lies. So, and then this one where she's all alone, he's all alone, and then the good ending, and then all the little pictures along the way and she comes in the phantom thief Cyril flashback thing the other dragons mark on the hand taken over same shit again and then where she sacrifices herself all right well, what's over here Sid uh. yeah Sid Athena, 11 months, appearance, five, year, five years. So yeah, so she's slowly aged by a couple months. I'd say the, the whole, the, whole um, the, the, the three chapters take place within like maybe four months, three to four months. Uh, like how her dislikes have changed now. Two digit edition. Uh, she's grown a little taller. Uh, Cyril Leonhart, 20, disguises family sewing lines. Phantom thief, butterfly unmasked. The others influence her attitude and posture but she's a woman has a grudge against theo over his past actions enos development likes maps crowds heights one of theo's former brothers now a researcher inventor crowded or high up places can make him barf in five minutes gene yeah. this is th this guy doesn't appear till the very fucking end yeah um now works as a pilot it's easy to make him laugh uh, he, does, he can't swim yeah, yeah can't swim uh, Neil, once again, around 100, appearance around 40. So, wow, he's on, on 198 centimeters. This guy's a tall bitch. Immortality, yeah, likes the world, people, dragons, dislikes evil. Slightly worried about getting swamped with work after dividing the units. Brett, he still hates people. 166 centimeters, so pretty tall, phasing through objects. Young dragon of shadow, kind of dragons but detest people. Recently gained an appreciation for star viewing. And then around nine, appearance 15, 152, so she's five feet. Ability analyzing. Her friends in the force dislikes thinking. A dragon girl who can analyze. Uh. Captain of the police's special investigative unit, full of energy, but runs headfirst into far too many situations. And then Sid, con artist. He tells lies as easily as he breathes. He has a new a, like. He's gotten a new, a little more gentle. Yes, he likes Effie. <laughs> Dislikes, annoyances, <laughs> skills, lying. And I'm guessing this is just like the music stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there are another chapter, is this it? Nope, this is, this is the last one. There's no other mm. after that. So yeah. Um, wow. If there is more of this, I sure as fuck can't find it. I don't know why they have her eye like lighted up. I'm guessing, again, this is how she looks in the neutral ending where she sacrifices herself. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe that's a reference to that. Um, Her actual eye color is supposed to be purple with all that shit out. Yeah, maybe. Um, as far as I know, is there? Actually, Blue was talking about that last night. Purple is illusions, hmm. typically associated with illusions and lies. Oh, man, that's fair. Let's see. Mm. Um... As far as I know, no, there's no, there's no other chapters. The developers making new. I want, I want what? more. Give more. <laughs> Sacrificing yourself is neutral. Well, again, so from what it seems like, when it comes to the three endings, the first bad ending is if you don't look into the hole <coughs> and see his other two uh, friends, brothers, and doesn't apologize and get closure with them. If you don't go there, you go straight to it. By the time Effie can't, um, catches up, he's already been consumed by his lies and he's too strong for her. 
um, because she can't help him, but still wants to be with him, um, she stays with him, and they, she even mentions, like, at the very end, it's like, everything got consumed with lies, but we were together. Um, the neutral ending, where you take him, you do see his brothers, um, and he makes amends with them. Um, Afi catches up, and she's able to eat some of the lies that are consuming him, but she's not strong enough. And this is reflective on your actual level. If she's not above a certain level, she is technically and literally, quote unquote, not strong enough. Um, it's mentioned before that dragons um, whose powers go haywire, who are constantly using their power and overexerting themselves, die quickly. She's not even a year old. So to her, using every ounce of her power, which is manifesting her horns and her wings, um, will allow her to finish consuming the lies, overexert herself, but she dies. The other dragons feel it. They're like, so that's how it's going to be. Obviously they can't stop her. Um, and it clears his lies, but she's gone. And it's back to him being alone before she came into his life. Um, and that's a neutral ending. It's good because he's not a monster anymore. It's bad because she's gone. And she... It, he loves her. He's, it, she's essentially kind of like a daughter or a little sister to him. And she's gone. Um, because... And like he says, I wasn't able to protect anybody. Where the reason he did what he did, he made a pact with the gang, sold his kidney, and gave them the money... Um, was so that he could protect them, so that they can go live better lives. Because, all, like, he gave them the money and told them, get the fuck out. Well, um, Enos became a researcher, became an inventor, so he got good education. Uh, Gene became a pilot, so he went to pilot school. That's not hard. That's not, that, that's not easy. He became a pilot. And with Cyril, they held on to this grudge, but clearly became adept and educated enough to become a thief, to be able to tell what's a good valuable and what's a fake. So they all got very educated and lived better lives, but they were all driven by this vengeance against Theo, who they felt abandoned them. Um, and they planned all this, knowing that he's traveling with a dragon who eats lies, fuck her over, you can fuck him over. But then again, he unmasks his lies, he tells them the truth, of why he did and said what they did, and they kind of go about their ways. Um, that being the good ending, where Afi is now strong enough to eat all of his lies, making him tell the truth and saving him, and her also becoming more powerful and growing a little bit more. Um, and then, yeah, they just they have a happy ending where they keep going. Um, unless I'm remembering it wrong, because it, it was pretty quick. It was like he owed the gang a debt, but he's kind of getting away from them. And that's where he has to constantly get money, constantly change his appearance, because if not, they're going to come after him. But instead uh, of paying for the debt, he just kind of cut and ran. Yeah, he cut and ran. Um, and in that aspect, again, he did that to protect them, to give better lives. And with him constantly changing appearances and going around all the time is also a way that he protects Effie. Um in that she's she's just a child and isn't really involved with all of his shenaniganry. Um, I think the um, her being able to eat lies is because he even knows, he tells her. Uh, people can become consumed by their lies and when they do, they can't go back. And I think that was something he, that he was scared of. He, with how he needs to live his life, he has to tell lies. He can't lose himself to them or bad things will happen. Um, and I think that was probably the wish. He didn't want to lose himself to the lies. So he wished for something that could save him, should it ever happen. And I think, I think that's what the wish was. Um, and that's where she's like, I'll protect you because she'll stop that from happening. Um, I think it's fucking cute as fuck. Um, yes. I, I wish there was more. Um, yeah. but there's, there's only the three chapters. They're all really short. Um, yeah, 
so I know there's three chapters. What if it? But what like, like what if there wasn't though? Uh, <laughs> they they, keep there, going. God there, damn it. There is the, the the thing I really like about this is that like, throughout like you can pick up each game, and I think you'd be generally fine if you picked up whichever game. That being said, though, you should play them in tandem and in order because, again, each game has its little bits of lore and world building where when you get to this last one, it really culminates. Like I was saying uh, during the earlier parts, I was like, wait, it said in the previous game that dragons are born from a wish people have. Um, that, you know, dragons age a certain way that, pe you know, there, there, there are little lore bits sprinkled here and there that don't beat you over the head but kind of graze you enough to be like, oh yeah, they said that before. They mentioned that before. They said it in passing. Last game, it was a very, if you don't explore, you'll miss it detail. But if you look at some of the bookshelves, occasionally you'll see Phantom Thief Strikes Again. And then in this game, the Phantom, you, you encounter the Phantom Thief. And someone even tells you, didn't you read, don't you read the papers? The Phantom Thief Strikes Again, the Phantom Thief is around. So it's uh it's it's cute little details like that. That's really really cute. Um, but yeah, it's uh I I really like this myriad hidden items and conversations spread throughout the game. Multiple achievements reach chapter of the game. All three chapters in one package. No DLC, just the whole story. So yeah, unfortunately there isn't more to it. It's really good though. And again, they're just short and sweet enough. You can play all three games in like six hours, unless you're like me who like looks at everything. And getting the legendary weapons means that you don't have to worry. You can just go straight to the story until you get to this point. I can't speak for the other ones because I did do a little bit of grinding. Um, just, 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 you know, cause they do bring up enemies that you had to kill. But in this one, you didn't. Um, you could just avoid them because they they are never ending because she can't eat them. And um, but then it turns out that you actually have to do essentially just a little bit of grinding. And it's just quick, quick enough that it doesn't feel like grinding. Like um, the last couple enemies, I like that they do that. So there's unless you do what some people, what I did a couple times where I just kind of kept saving. If you save... There, there's, uh, unless you save like every single fucking minute, actually you can't really even save in the final screen. So there's no way to really lock yourself out of the good ending because the last place you can save is in that last room with the goopies. And unless you load your game and then just go straight to it, you can always go back and grind. So, um, and again, we went from level eight to 14 in like two minutes. So grinding just almost does not exist. It's very fast. So I, I like that they kind of go into that. And again, if you get the bad endings, the game kind of tells you, hey, she's not strong enough. Um, it doesn't spell it out for you, but like it's straightforward enough where it's like, well, what did I miss? You didn't miss anything. You just didn't play that other part of the that other part of the game. End of the game, end of the day, this is still an RPG. This is still there's still a little bit of combat there. It's not there for no reason. If it was, if, if it didn't need to be there, it wouldn't. And that's another thing too. Everything in this game needs to be here. <laughs> like there's nothing is wasted in this game. And I love, and I love it. I love it. This was cute as fuck. And I wa I wish there was more. <laughs> um, I'm going to just end that there. I'm going to move to just chatting really quick. Uh, we're only like two hours in. Um, I'm just thinking right now. Um, as far as I know, there's no no announcements of no Zelda. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick BRB screen. So about maybe uh, 10, 10, 15 minutes or so. One sec. Let me just look some stuff here. Uh, wow, there's a, there was a conversation happening here. Um, I think I'm going to take a quick, uh, 10 minute break or so. I'm going to allow me to get some food, um, bathroom breaks and stuff. Um, and then I'll be right back. And then I think we're going to just, uh, I think we're just going to have some chill, a chill 14 moment, um, for the rest of the stream until Zelda. So I will be right back. 